Hey guys, Kyle, the Death Knight of Anime here, bringing you my review for One Piece episode 946. And before I even get into the review for a moment here, let's just take a moment and thank Queen. Thank Mr. Queen the Plague for being the most colossally fat moron in existence. You'll, you'll understand what I'm talking about when we get into this review later. But thank you, Queen, for making things a hundred times worse than they needed to be. So yeah, okay. So first thing to talk about with this week's episode is that the recap is the recap length. And normally I try to avoid talking about it as I do understand toys to use it as a means to pad out pacing. But every time, it, every time the, the, every time the, um, the, Every time the recap well pretty much goes over over three over the three minute limit, I feel I do have to say something because yeah, this went on for way longer than it needed to be. I think if I was timing it correctly, it went it, it went for like slightly under five minutes to exactly five minutes. Like the, like there there, there there was a little bit of a of a transitionary period where where where, 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 where they're just repeating scenes in order to in order to transition into the actual episode. But yeah, as a whole, it really kind of just as a whole, the episode just really kind of went just it, it the it went went a little too a little over the limit when it came to the when it came to the um when it came to the when it when it came to the recap this time it uh, and <clears throat> Like I, I, yeah, it's one of those things where I don't care if you do it for pacing reasons. This was this was just way too long. Um, also, even when the recap was over, the episode the episode decided to give us a small flashback to when a small flashback to when Rayleigh used Hockey Row to to free Kami, and I felt that was just kind of unnecessary. Honestly, like we we basically all all remember that iconic scene more or less. I don't think we need to be reminded of it, but yeah, that that if I did have a problem if. But yeah, so yeah, I kind of have even more of a problem with that than I do the the pat be the recap honestly. But yeah, that, that scene in itself just it it wasn't really needed honestly. Um, I mean, I, I guess you could say it was it was to help Luffy like visualize it more, but yeah, it didn't really work even then. Um, but getting but working past the bad and getting into the actual good parts of the episode, it starts off showing Luffy pretty much failed to. St the episode starts off with showing Luffy pretty much failed to stop Big Mom. And even though the dramatics of the situation were kind of played up a bit with, with Yogoro's death, I do like how, with, with basically, with Luffy pretty much failing to, to in order to harness that power, it illustrated the consequences of exactly what I was talking about last week, which is that Luffy does have the drive and the motivation to harness these powers that, that, that he's being taught. But... He has to, but in doing so, he has to learn to harness this inner strength at will. Because if he can't, and conti and he continues to rely on the old tried and true e e emotional stress as a means to tap into this power, then he will reach a point where he will not only be defeated, but it will cost him his crew. Like I feel like I'm, so I know I'm sounding like a broken record and repeating exactly what what, what I pretty much said last week, but it is true. If Luffy does not grasp the the simple basic cons the simple basic concept of of harnessing his power of harnessing these th this this power of row and hockey at will, then he will lose his crew. We're 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 facing a emperor a, a Yonko an emperor of the sea. If he does not harness, the, and and actually we're we're facing two of them now, like Kaido and Big Mom, which Big Mom will get into, but a little later again. But yeah, it's if if he doesn't harness this power, he it will cost him his crew. And he, 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 and again, even though even though even though Shigoro didn't die necessarily, I I do like how it was kind of, and even though Shigoro didn't die, and it was kind of played for laughs. What happened to him was, I think, just enough of a harsh dose of reality for Luffy of what could actually happen if he doesn't move past this concept of harnessing his power emotionally versus tapping into it at will. Like, he does this, the, the, this whole chap, this whole episode, honestly, I think illustrated a very important key concept that Luffy does need to grasp. Otherwise, 
he is he he's go he's going to he's going to lose he's going to lose oh, oh, he's going to actually lose Sugoro and he's going to lose his crew like in a legitimate situation if he doesn't and and from what i see of the preview it's it seems that this is a concept that they were going to they were going to like pretty much continue to explore like that this this th th that this is a lesson that luffy needs to learn um <clears throat> And yeah, for the most part, the biggest problem I think this episode had, as, aside from maybe the the aside from maybe the um aside from maybe the recap, is we we both got is that we both is that it's one of those where we both got some things established in the episode, but at the same time the pacing barely moved an inch. Like th this is one of those chapters where you can. It kind of it kind of droned on a little longer in places than it needed to, and, and and we barely and we barely got anywhere. Like we, we we did go places, but it almost feels like we we pretty much, we pretty much barely got anything done at the same time. Like be, like especially whenever it especially whenever it whenever it whenever we got to that point in this in the episode where it was really just Luffy being chased around by Big Mom, and and it wasn't really until like the the back half where where of of what happened to Big Mom at the end of the episode, where things fin finally started to pick up. Um, however, well, however, like I said, we, we we even even though the pacing wasn't great, we still managed to establish some stuff. And one key thing to note is that throughout the whole throughout the Luffy throughout the whole like Big Mom chasing Luffy thing, we did get introduced to several shadowed prisoners, which. Just by them being shat in in shadow, that already shows they have importance in the story. And y you know what? Yeah, I'm 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 not even gonna. Uh, this is gonna be a spoiler warning. Like I'm I'm just I'm not even gonna bother like 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 holding this in. This this is gonna be just a flat out spoiler. I'm gonna give to all. I don't care if you're an anime only. You've been warned about this one. Um, because, 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 if you couldn't catch the underlying context of their appearances, the, the, those prisoners that were in shadow are essentially the old guard of, of, of the Permji, of the Permji Yakuza. They, those, those shadow prisoners are the bosses who who were served alongside Yogoro during Un's reign. That's who, that's who those people are essentially are. That they are the old guard, the old bosses of of the Yakuza. Well, pretty much before like. Orochi had had stepped into power and whatnot, and 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 the fact that we see these very powerful like like like, like, like gangsters like and, and and basically yakuza bosses locked up in prison shows just not only just how powerful Kaido is, but also how frightened Orochi is as well, and how and how much he actually like pretty much fear, feared slash fears that the pretty much yakuza. Of not being under his control, like he he basically he he the fact that he feared the, the yakuza so much, it shows j just how much he needed them under his control. Because if he didn't, then then that then they would become an even bigger problem for him if if they weren't. And 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 right now I'm not gonna lie, it's it's this this is the one this is the one spoiler I'll be vague on. It's it's kind of even hard to say as to whether or not let the Kyoshiro is the Kyoshiro's faction is even under his control anymore, honestly. But yeah. <clears throat> um, with that said, by the end of the episode, we basically see Queen's full plan to stop Big Mom play out. And while art and animation was kind of meh in places this week, I do gotta give the Toei team props where it's due. The seeing the quality of Queen's brachial bomber was some pretty fucking slick animation work like j j j just the whole just that whole sequence itself of of queen just diving down and hitting big mom on the head just the animation work there that was amazingly done and <clears throat> it 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 was one of those things that didn't make the episode worth worth pretty much slogging through the other kind of problems i had with it but yeah it was it, it was legitimately i was not expecting that that just that one moment to look that good but they, they did it anyway, which I really appreciate. Like, and hell, even moving beyond that, something as simple as Big Mom's palm strike, like palm palm strike in this episode, was equally as well done as the Brachio Bomber. So yeah, I, I gotta give a hand for just those two excellent moments in this episode from the animation team. Now, having said that, for as epic as as Queen's Brachio Bomber was. Let's get back to Queen's plan in itself. 
in because in his effort to stop her, Queen, you motherfucking dumbass. You fat motherfucker. You just made things worse for absolutely everyone because now she's got her memories back. So thank you, Queen, you colossal fat moron. Because now that big mom, no, just honestly, now that big mom is regaining her memories, she's going to be even more of a problem. So yeah, thank you, fat ass. Like seriously, in <laughs> it, was, it was an epic moment. Don't get me wrong. Again, it was the Brachial Bomber thing. It was an epic moment for Queen. But also, in that single one moment, you just realized how much of a dumbass, how much of a dumbass this queen actually is now for, for basically what he achieved. Like, I guess you can say he didn't know, but at the same time, queen, you just made things a ton times worse. So, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, queen. Thank you loads, dumbass. <laughs> But, um, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much all I got for this review. If you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Alistair Crunchyroll, Death Night of Anime, signing off. Later, guys.